Hi there, I'm back with another little update for you on this site. So I've just been working through tidying up a few of the templates. The free template is ready. If you come to the site now and you see um, this, got a free template at the top here, click on this link here and it opens up this page and go and duplicate it. It's the top, um, there's a hundred top Shopify sites in there that you can go and get and just get inspiration from, go through, see. Um, watch the about video if you want to learn what this whole thing is about and how this site got started. This is the free version created by Ecom Ranker, which I downloaded and converted into a Notion template. And you can go and download it and get it for free. Click on duplicate up here. If you want to get the updated version, come back to my site where I'm updating swipes for that free version. So I'm expanding on the free version and making swipes that are going in it for different list building stuff that those Shopify sites are doing. I'm also adding big brands that I see on Twitter and other um, D2C people that do uh, marketing for Shopify sites and they're quite big in this space. So I'm following what sites they've got and then adding those to it. So I've got lots of sites to actually add. First, I need to tidy up and make sure the links work and things like that. So I'm going through and updating the top e-com sites. You can click on the link at the top here and you'll get access to my version where I'm updating it within this whole Feather site. Okay, so it's not a Notion template you can download. You can get access to it on this site and use it as a resource. So I found a little hack here working around if you're trying to link to a Notion template from within your Notion site um, using Feather. So I'll give you an example. If I wanted to link to this um, template, for example, in Notion, I'll show you what happens is um, if I was to paste it in here and then link to the page, um, what happens is Notion just creates that a page link because it's within the Notion site itself. Okay, so we don't want to do that. Um, and then what happened if I just write link and then I try to turn this into a link and then click link again. And then I paste in the address of the Notion page. You can see all it's trying to do is link me back to that page. And that's a problem. You don't want to have to do that. And I was showing um, Banu this when I was um, doing it with inside of um, Feather. So if you now double click on it, and a little hack that I found is if you paste the link in and then put a question mark at the end, you can see what happens. It says link to URL. And that means you can now create a link to a Notion page within your Notion um, site and Feather will not try and create a duplicate sort of page, an internal page for it. So what was happening is Feather was creating an internal page. Um, it's, it's, not, it's not like a bug in Feather, I don't think, because Notion is trying to create um, an internal link within Notion. So I had to, by adding the question mark, um, it end up um, working and making it not an internal page. So. If you're trying to do this, you'll figure this out yourself. You can't really link to an internal page and make it an external link when you're publishing it on the web. So now what happens, it works. When you click on it, you get this page. It comes up and you can go and download the free version of this template. And if you're trying to link in, link within internal pages, but you actually want them to be external links for people to go and download a template, try putting the question mark on the end of the link inside Notion and you'll get it working just like I have here. Please jump over, get the template for free. Remember to retweet any of these videos if you're seeing them on Twitter or share the blog posts if you're following them on the Feather site. Um, come to topecom.co.uk and you can see exactly how I'm building this entire site all in public. Thanks for watching this video. Bye for now.